so this video is going to be a haul because as a bibliophile I uh, cannot not buy books even though I'm trying to read them instead of just buy them but when you get really amazing deals on books it's really hard to say no to definitely I'm someone who feels like you could never have too many books so I'm going to show you a stack of really good deals I got <laughs> recently and then I'm also going to show you two splurge purchases so I'm going to start with the paperbacks first because I only got a few so I picked up Childhood End by Arthur C. Clarke classic sci-fi novel I do know my friend Matt over at Book Pilled recently reviewed this so when I found this vintage copy for 25 cents which doesn't look it may have been read once because the spine is creased one time uh, I definitely needed to pick this up this is one that was printed with a barcode and it's got somebody's name in it copyright 1953 46 printing 1982 so this is the 1982 copy with this really cool graphic here a giant spaceship I then picked up this for a dollar only because the premise of the book sounded interesting called prison planet it looks like it has just a, a shot of earth from the moon probably one of I think this is one of the first photographs of earth from the moon as the cover I paid a dollar for this these were outcasts and barren survivors the only survivors in the universe I read the back bit and I was like okay well you got me I'm gonna read this and then Lee Brackett's The Big Jump one man has come back he is neither alive nor dead I, it immediately made me think of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein but it's like set in space so I don't actually know if that's similar I doubt it because of the depth of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein if you actually ever read it is uh, a little bit more than what they portray in social well not social in, in media and like movies and stuff it's actually really excellent work of science fiction um, but yeah so I picked this up this was two dollars and then the hard covers so I, I feel like I picked up someone had like sold their entire collection of vintage Piers Anthony books and I uh, decided to put, pick up what they were putting down <laughs> but to start I picked up Worms by Orson Scott Card because of the cover I paid four dollars and fifty cents for this and then the rest of these are all Piers Anthony so this is Cruel Lie by Piers Anthony I paid three dollars for this I think most of these Piers Anthony books are all like fantasy which I am perfectly okay with I love the fantasy genre I'm just adoring look at look at the artwork look at these little dudes on the front I paid 350 for this one this is man from Mundania I think these are all from his wondrous and magical Xanath world I did see uh, some people leave comments about uh, Piers Anthony and to stay away from Xanath and uh, I don't know about the rest of y'all when someone tells me to, to not do something I'm more likely to do that thing so I would like to see why people want you to stay away from Xanath uh, I may regret buying all of these we will find out if not I will at least have learned my lesson at a very cheap cost so this is Veil of the Vold. Veil of the Vold, also a Xanath novel. I think these are all from the 80s based on the artwork, like late 70s, early 80s. 1987, look at me. This looks like, the cover art for this one looks like something I would have drawn in, in high school. Uh, maybe middle school, actually. I, I, I apologize to whatever artist drew this but the depth of those faces 
are a little lagging. The horse looks pretty good, but uh, dude bros definitely <laughs> need some help. Uh, this is Nightmare. Then this one, the face is like, this looks like one of those medieval faces, like if you've ever seen the medieval portraits of cats, or like, it, it's like a drawing of a cat with like a, a human face, and it's amazing. I'll probably put an example up here. But this one like is a very detailed visual, what looks like a child. Apparently the child got the adult face that should have been on these dudes. <laughs> Heaven Sent, and then Gollum in the Gears. Now this one, I actually really like this cover because I actually enjoy it. I think it's good cover. $3.25 for this one. I think these are all Xanath novels. Yes, these are all Xanath novels. All of them are Xanath novels. And then I picked up this one for $5, The Dastard, because the title of the book is called The Dastard. Uh, I also like this cover. This cover reminds me very much of um, the paperback cover art for Her Majesty's Wizard. It's very much an 80s cover here. So those are all of my uh, steals. Again, I'm going to apparently get quite in depth into the world of Xanath and not any order. So I've shown you all the deals I got and now I'm going to show you my splurges. This is a special edition copy of the latest book by V.E. Schwab, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I want to read this because I read the first book in the, the Darkest Shades of Magic, I think is what it's called, by them and I super enjoyed it. So I, when I saw this, I do have the entire series already. I just haven't gotten around to read it, reading it because I'm on this vintage book kick, but I do still buy the new ones thinking that I'm someday going to have more time to read everything. I think if you also buy and read books, you understand that plate, but I picked this up. I paid $30 for it. Um, it comes with one of those little uh, ribbon bookmarks that's automatically attached. I, I love, I love this. I love this. I wish every single hardback book had this because it makes life so easy. <laughs> but yeah, I bought this. I might eventually get around to reviewing it. And then in my review of Babel 17 by Samuel R. Delaney, I stated that I was going to sell my vintage paperback and splurge on a hardcover of that book because I enjoyed it so much, even though apparently not everybody likes my review, but uh, I did, I did it. <laughs> this is the Easton Press leather bound gilded copy of Babel 17 by Samuel R. Delaney, which as with the special edition V.E. Schwab book, also has the ribbon bookmark which I adore. I love it. I wish again, wish all hardbacks did that. I don't know why they don't. It also comes with a, a book plate. Uh, if you do not or are not familiar with the Easton Press, they specialize in doing collector's editions, gilded leather bound collector's editions like this of many different genres. So fantasy, science fiction, which is, this is from their Masterpieces of Science Fiction collection, and also like classic literature as well. So if uh, you have limitless pocketses, you might want to check out the Easton Press. I'm not sponsored by them. This is just like, if all of my books could look like this, they would. But I don't have limitless pockets. <laughs> but when I enjoyed this one so much, and I found this copy uh, for $40 on eBay. Definitely snapped that up because most of these are, if you buy them directly from Easton Press, are around like the 90 plus plus. <laughs> like some, some of theirs, I think the Anne Rand Atlas Shrugged is like almost $400. <laughs> 
but yeah just just if you if you've never heard of Easton Press put that on your radar love it so excited to have this so I can reread that book and not worry about it falling apart and that was my haul uh, next week I will share with you another book review so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye